welcome to Spatry's Cup of Linux. In this episode, I'm going to show you just how easy it is to install Linux. Okay, so let's say you downloaded a copy of Zorin or Linux, as I recommended in previous episodes. You got it burned to your DVD, you pop it in your drive, and you boot your computer off of it. You'll be presented with a screen that looks similar to this. And we're going to go ahead and just tell it to start the installer directly. So let's go ahead and do that. Okay, now that everything has been loaded, uh, we're ready to begin. You'll notice some icons in the upper portion of the screen. This detected that I have internet access already connected. So what it will do is it'll download updates as this is installing. First, we'll just select the language. Okay, and then next, it just wants to make sure that we have the correct amount of drive space that we're plugged into a power source and uh, we are connected to the internet. Next, we will allocate drive space for this. If you're installing Zorin just the way it is, this default setting is just fine. We'll cover this in another episode. Next, we'll select our time zone. I'm in Florida, so the correct time zone here has been selected for me. So we'll go ahead and choose that. It's always good to know your correct keyboard layout has been selected. I'm in the United States, and USA on the left and USA on the right is sufficient. So I'll go ahead and select that as well. OK, and as the files are still copying, we need to uh, pick some information out. Uh, on the form here. So let's go ahead and fill out the details. Uh, I'm going to call this one Spatry and VM. Did that even type? No. There we go then we need to choose a password. This is something you just cannot skip. You must put a password in. So one, two, three, four, five. How easy can that be? All right, we'll do that again. One, two, three, four, five. Don't use that as your password, though, please. OK, and then we can tell it to log in automatically, because I'm the only one that's going to be using this. Or you can require a password when you log in. I'm just going to say log in automatically and then we'll press forward okay and then as files are still copying and updates are downloading from the internet you're presented with this nice slideshow that gives you uh, an overview of everything that Zorin OS provides you can flip through it manually or you can just let it run by itself now this is going to take a while to install because I do have this set up to download updates from the internet as well. So once this installation is completed, I will come back and we'll see this bad boy in action. Okay, installation has completed. So now we can go ahead and restart this. Alright, our virtual computer has rebooted and as you can see, I have Zorin OS up and running. Now, I didn't get an opportunity to show you the boot screen because this took a little bit, took a little while to do because I'm running a virtual machine on a single core processor, so that tends to slow things down a little bit. But as you can see, we have a fully working operating environment, and it is nice and intuitive to work with, uh, very easy to use has a nice uh, familiar looking start menu much like the Windows start menu and also has some pretty cool special effects bundled in there so play around with it if you have any questions please fill out the comments b below and I'll be happy to uh, answer your questions if you like this video hit the like button for me also subscribe to my channel there's more goodies heading your way thanks for watching